And there's our dough pieces. Same with the lard, 250 grams. Do exactly the same with this one. God, then that looks scrummy, guys. Recipe for two trays of dripping cakes. So we'll start off today by adding all our dry ingredients into the machine bowl. Then we're going to start the machine up and let it mix round for around about one minute. Now we're going to add in our liquids and also a squirt of lemon juice. Now we're going to commence mixing this for around five minutes. If you've got a three speed machine, mix on first speed for one minute, then mix on second speed for five minutes. Then scrape down the dough in the bowl and once again, carry on mixing on second speed for five minutes. We're now gonna give our dough a really good scrape down. And once we've scraped this down, all we're gonna be doing is mixing this for a further four minutes. Like that. I now cut the dough into two parts and now we'll just mold them up. Now, depending on which type of recipe you're using, I'm going to be resting for around about 10 minutes, but if you're making it a slower method, this could take up to 50 minutes. And for our dripping trays, this is eight by 12. Now inside that, I've actually got margarine or butter and that's brown sugar. Now you don't have to do this. I've done this because another recipe said to do this. Personally, I wouldn't bother, but I've done it anyway. If you want to do some fruited ones, but in drippings, only use sultanas, nothing else. It won't be quite the same. And there's our dough pieces. They've been resting there for around about 10 minutes now. Now, as you know, the size of the tray, we don't need to be them too big. So we can actually do them both together on this table. If you've got a big table like this, you probably can do the same. Bit of flare down. Let's use my proper rolling pin. Like that. That should be big enough. Don't want it too massive. Like that. Right, important, just give them a little shake up. Bit of flare on the top. And we're gonna take them out a little bit further. Like that. Once again with this one. And this is very much the same as doing a lardy cake, really. And there we go, just sweep off dust. Now for our dripping filling, 250 grams of butter. Same with the lard, 250 grams. And also brown sugar and caster sugar, both 250 grams of each, you just add that in. Now all we need to be doing is mixing this round so it's a nice clear mix. Now this is the mixture we did earlier. Now we're gonna be putting it on that side, all right? Now, I'm gonna do it with my hands. Now, dare to say, if you wanna do it with your hands, do it with your hands. In fact, it's probably better doing it with hands because you can get it on here. Because when it's really cold, you'll probably have a job to do this. But the thicker you put it on, the more fat and the sugar you'll have in it. And it'll be nice and syrupy. If you don't want it too syrupy, then don't put so much in. Now, like I said, one of these is going to be fruited. Just dab a few on the top there. That's a few. You don't need loads. It's not like a lardy cake. And all we're going to do is take this over, knock it down with your fingers like that. And again, the same this way. You get me drift. There you go. And do exactly the same with this one. Now, you know the size of your tins, so you're going to have to be around about the same size as your tins. So don't worry about getting some flour under it, like that. And then we're gonna roll them out. A little bit this way, and again, this way. So all the juices are flattened together. Like that. And then once again, just fold it over You don't want loads of flour on that, and that way. And that's almost the size of your tin. Six by 12 about. So that's about 10 inches, that rolling pin. Probably won't fit exactly. There we go. And then we'll just rest for this for a few minutes. Do the same with this one.
you can do this as a four tray if you want. Now, to be perfectly honest, that is exactly what you've got here. So realistically, I would say 16 would be plenty for these, okay? So you want eight out of this one and eight out of this one. Then the magic trick is, all you need to do is cut down the lines. Right, and now they're ready for the prover. Now you wanna be proving these for around about 30 minutes, give or take, all right? You can just wrap them with a plastic bag if you wish to, but I'm gonna put them into a prover. You wanna be putting your oven on now, and your oven temperature wants to be preset 190 Celsius. Right, we'll get these straight into the prover. Our lardies are ready. We're now gonna get them into the oven. They're gonna be in the oven for around about 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. As soon as your trippers come out of the oven, what you want to do is just wash the tops over with bum wash. And this is golden syrup and water mixed. And after this, you need to let them cool down for at least 25 minutes. So there's our dripping cakes. There's the ones with fruit. And this is the ones which are plain. Look at that. All that lovely treacle on the top. Mm -mm -mm. God, then that looks scrummy, guys. And if you want more recipes like that, check out this one. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters.